so Gathia, we are actually in the in the rose garden here at the moment, and it, well, just tell me a little bit about who you are, what you do here, because the work that you do at Emmett's, you've got quite a strong conservational angle to everything that you do, don't you? Think of that first and foremost. Yes. Uh, well, uh, managing a garden like this from the National Trust, uh, conservation is at the core of what we do, um, and of course, any action we do is to keep in. Uh, the spirit of place, as we call it, the National Trust, which is the, the spirit of the garden, how it was intended um, first by the people who create the garden. So. And it's beautiful. I mean, I know that we're sort of getting towards the end of summer. Well, at the end of summer, we're in mid-October. Yes. <laughs> so, but it has been an unusually long and warm end to the summer, isn't it? And there's still a lot of, lot of blooms here. We're in the rose garden. There's a lot of rose, roses still in bloom. Yes, unfortunately we have a lot of damage by deer, so they um, graze the roses uh, every day. But we are having a second flash of uh, color, and it happens uh, almost every year at the end of uh, summer, the roses come back again to life. And the reason why we're here, as much as anything, is to look at mushrooms, toadstools. It's the fungus festival going on at the moment here. What's that all about? What are you trying to do with that? Well, I mean, raising awareness of the importance of fungi worldwide and how important they are not only for nature, but for the daily life as well. Yeah. And why are they important? Because they form part of, uh, of, the, uh, of most of the ecosystems. They are kind of helping um, soils and plants and uh, animals all being to bind together, as mm -hmm. to say. They are a, a very important part of soils. And because some gardeners might think that, well, you see a mushroom turnip, if you get mushrooms in your lawn and you get fairy rings, and they'll go, oh, I don't want that, I don't want that. Uh, and then they'll try and get rid of them. Is that, <laughs> what would you say to a gardener who thinks like that? Well, all depend the kind of fairy mushroom you have. Uh, but there are, um, if the lawn is not really a very formal, highly important lawn, I mean, it's no harm in leaving them there. But some, some of the fairy rings, there are three types, and one of them kills the grass as well. So maybe if one wants to keep a nice uh, lawn looking nice, uh, it's better just to take action. But I would say just leave it for a short period of time and adds an extra layer of interest to the garden. Yeah, and this is the crucial thing, isn't it? As you're saying, that the, the, the fungus itself is, is completely underground. The mushroom and the toadstool is just the, the fruiting body, isn't it? That's the kind yes. of technical term that, that appears at this time of year. Um, but the, without the without the fungus underground, everything dies. Yes, I mean fungi forms a very important part of soils. They help to degrade um, the organic matter. Yeah, they're essential, aren't they? That you you yes, have yes. to you have to be aware of the fact that actually those fruiting bodies, those mushroom and toadstools, they show you good stuff is going on underground. Exactly, they have a ecological role and uh, they are performing it. <laughs> and so, Emmett, so you've got quite a Big, is collection the right word? You, you don't actively collect funguses here, they just do their own thing and appear. Exactly. No, fungi, they, um, they do their own thing, as to say. And here we got a lot of environments, like we got woodland, we got, as you see, lawns, we got a, a meadow, and a, every fungi, um, well, there are fungi for every kind of situation, mm -hmm. as to say. Do you have a favourite? Uh, difficult to say, but there is. I like to see uh, the uh, Earth star when it comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's um, a very nice uh, fungi to see. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why is that? What's special about the Earth star? Well, because it's in the shape of a star with a round kind of um, uh, ball in the middle, as to say. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and as we've been walking around, we've seen a number of different. So, uh, fly agaric, which is the classic. Mm -hmm. The red toadstool with the white spots on it. The kind of thing you'd expect an elf to be <laughs> sitting yeah. on top of. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a very nice one. It's a classic and everyone asks for it. Uh -huh. So, But it's a lovely mushroom that usually you would see associated with birches, silver, silver birch or betula, and, um, and pine, yeah. pine trees. Is there a time of year that's best for mushroom spotting is is the autumn when they mostly appear or do they happen all year round well they happen all year round what we see in autumn because uh, the temperatures are mild and the moisture is in the ground uh, but we see a lot of fruiting bodies mm -hmm. which is the mushrooms 
but they are all year round under the soil yeah mm-hmm. doing their thing oh, okay yeah. do, do, do some others though do, do the mushrooms turn up in spring or others that happen in high summer or is it mostly in autumn yeah they happen most of the time but most of the most of them are visible above above ground in autumn because of the meteorological conditions sometimes in spring one can see some mushrooms as well nice. but yeah autumn is the the best condition for them and you're saying that every mushroom seems to be associated with a particular plant so if you want to encourage stuff in your garden what should you do to to try and make sure that you've got a good healthy fungal system in the ground well first uh, increase diversity planting diversity and then enrich the soil as much as you can with organic matter as well Mm -hmm. in woodlands uh, um, i mean in woodlands for example uh, rest of prunings leave them on the ground so there are different kind of fungi some of them uh, well are supra- well they, they they feed on uh, dead organic matter like rest of uh, prunings mm-hmm. so yeah encouraging th- encouraging them uh, encouraging them yes. and encouraging them yes. in your book <coughs> is a good thing yes it is it is sometimes i mean like here in the rose garden it's good to remove uh, all these uh, some of them are diseases in the garden so in the roses, everyone know about black spot or rusts or um, powdery mildew. So it's good to remove the leaves uh, out, away, out and away of the roses to avoid um, the use of chemicals in, if we can, yeah. So it's a cultural method. Well, lovely. Ignacio, it's been great having a chat with you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Nice to see you here too. Thank you.